Chief, is well, that he, he actually wasn't arrested. He was arrested trying actually to cross the border into what then was Betuana land. And he was effectively led into a police trap and eventually was brought back to Pretoria Central and from Pretoria Central was taken to Marshall Square where had he not escaped with three others, Mosey Muller, Abdul Jasset and Arthur Goldreich, he and along with Arthur Goldreich would have stood trial at the Ravonia trial. Let's go back to, to Lily's Lee Farm and, and, and what do you think it means to South Africa and what it should mean to South Africa today? Well, I think there are two significant roles Lily's Leaf plays today. One is of a historical nature. It gives an opportunity for both local and international visitors to get an understanding of what the liberation struggle was about, what it meant, what it articulated. It gave expression, for example, to the Freedom Charter, because mm. prior to the Freedom Charter, there was no really clearly defined document setting out the goals and objectives of what the struggle was about. Yeah. Lily's Leaf became... the the voice. They came, they met, they debated, they discussed, yeah. they planned. And it was from Lily's Leaf that the liberation struggle was for, and the ideals yeah. of what that struggle was about was given meaning, credence, and expression and understanding. Now, on a second level, if we come to today, Lily's Leaf is not just a historical site. It's a place of legacy and memory. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that we're trying to keep what our liberation struggle was about alive. It was about trying to ensure that the essence and understanding of that struggle is still very much aware. People are aware of it. It shouldn't be seen in a negative context because what the struggle was about, what they were forty fighting for, yeah. was also universal. It is still very much today a universal ideal and it contains universal principle. So the struggle today is ensuring that we do not lose sight of what our liberation struggle was about and its meaning and what it was being articulated. Let's go back to that fateful day in November 1963. Tell us how events sort of play out with the, played out with the arrests. Well, I mean, during the trial, I mean, and if you have spoken to a number of the trialists, they were convinced that Lily's Leaf was exposed through either an informer or people who had been there. It clearly wasn't, because on the day of the raid, a number of things happened which clearly illustrate that there was no informer involved. One was the fact that when the police arrived, they actually asked someone at the gate, is anyone there? And he said no, and they started to reverse out. and that's that the police were aware of it, it was the contrary. But the important aspect is that the raid smashed the internal liberation movement. It smashed the leadership. The struggle was taken externally because people like Walter Sasulu, I mean, beg your pardon, like Oliver Tambo, Joe Slovo and others had gone into exile and the mm. objective, for example, of Oliver Tambo was to set up the ANC in exile. That was his objective. Yeah. And so therefore the emphasis became one of an external liberation struggle because of the internal consequences and impact that the raid had on Lily's Leaf. Let, let's, come, let's, let's move it forward to today quickly. Nearly 20 years into our democracy, do you think that the spirit and the commitments of the leaders back then uh, that plotted really the political order that we've got today. Uh, what would they think of South Africa today? It's, a, it's actually a very interesting question because at the end of the month on the 28th, the Harold Wolpe Memorial Trust will be holding a dialogue, 19 years into democracy, a reflection. The question is, as you said, how would they view it today? And I think it's very, it would be a very circumspect answer. Um, but I think to some degree there would be some form of trepidation, unhappiness in terms of the underlying principles in which define the liberation struggle, that define the process. I mean, I think one of the important aspects is that the ANC has remained a relevant liberation organization, the oldest on the African continent, because it was endowed with this strong tradition of debate, dialogue and discussion, mm. which to some degree has faded and disappeared. So, 
Really, to say definitively they would be unhappy would be simplifying the question. Yeah. There would be elements where they, I think there would be unhappiness regarding some of the trajectories and some of the lines that the ANC have taken. But on the other hand, there will be immense delight, pleasure and satisfaction yeah. in terms of what has been achieved on certain levels. Yeah. So again, to just say simply they would be unhappy would be a simplification of a much more complex and argument. This weekend we've had registration uh, for the 2014 general election and, and uh, the premise of the, of, the, of the struggle really was to get every person to vote within a democratic society. Mm -hmm. what, what is your message to those communities who, who refuse to vote this weekend? because our reasons was to provide the platform for every South African to be given the right to vote. And I think it ties up with the concern that we have that our history... ..and the liberal only begins to weaken then I think people are going to lose sight of one of the core reasons of why they should go out and vote. Because it should be looked within a historical context. It's not just about the here and now, which we talked, of, talked yeah. about earlier off camera. It is about the historical context in which that right to vote was won and the sacrifices and commitment given by a unique group of leaders. Some unknown, others known. Sometimes we are a little bit out of touch with where we come from and, and maybe more people should visit Lily's Leaf uh, to really see uh, the price in the end that uh, we paid to get to where we are today. But thank you very much, uh, Nicholas Wolpe, for joining us Thanks today. Thank you very much, Evan.